Hey, what's up YouTube? I just want to review a great new device that I have for recording crystal clear audio. And it's called the Tascam DR05X. Every good motorcycle YouTube blogger swears by this device and I had to try it out myself. It costs around $120 on Amazon and it's worth every penny. Initially, I purchased a much cheaper device for around $30 let me tell you, you get what you pay for. All I could hear was wind distortion and I could not use any of the audio because it was just so distorted. This device has so many features, so many functions, and it's such a quality device for only around $120. So I want to review how to set up your Tascam so you can get the best audio for your videos. If we click on menu, first we go to record settings. We want to make sure the format is under WAVE 24-bit. This will give you the highest quality audio and the most dynamic range. Next, if we go to sample, we want to put that to 48K. 48Ks for audio that will be put with video. If we're only recording audio, we can put this setting at 44.1. For type, we want to put that to mono. This means that the microphone will only be recording in one direction. On a motorcycle, we want to reduce distortion as much as possible from the road and wind noise. So we want our microphone only recording in the direction that we want to be recording. As far as size, we want to put that to the highest at 2G. For mic, we want to make sure that's turned on. We're going to be using a lavalier mic. I'm using a purple panda omnidirectional lavalier mic on my Tascam when I'm riding. This is an excellent microphone, but we want to make sure the mic is turned on or else we won't be recording anything. <laughs> as far as low cut, this will help reduce wind noise and road noise. We want to put this to 40 hertz initially. If you want to hear your exhaust a little more, try the setting at 80 hertz. Now if we go back to play settings, everything here is already set perfectly, so we don't need to change anything. If we go back to menu to I.O. settings, we want to make sure level mode is set to manual. We can also change this to auto, but the sound quality won't be as good. So put this to manual or else everything we've done would be for not. Now, when we're recording, we can change the input levels from 0 to 100. I feel that between 30 and 50 is usually excellent. You want to play around with this feature yourself. We don't want your noise that you're recording to be distorted. So play around with this feature, but I find that 30 to 50 is the sweet spot. Now, as far as the task cam and how to power it, it comes with two AA batteries. This is the only way to power the mic on the go. There is a USB port on the side though. Now, if we're plugging in the USB to a computer, it does supply the task cam with power. We can even record directly to the computer. We can transfer files directly to the computer with the micro USB port as well. But there is no lithium ion battery inside this device. So the only way to power this device on the go is with two AA batteries. Now, as far as the design of this Tascam DR05X, on the top, we have our microphone extension in. This is where we'll be plugging in our lavalier mic. On the side, we have our headphone line out port. You can plug in your headphones there so you can hear your recording audio live. Below that is the hold button. When we're recording, we can place this on hold and that way there'll be no accidents and we'll record when we want to record and we won't when we won't. On the other side, we have our micro SD push and eject slot. Below that is our USB port. This device 
though it may feel cheap on the outside as far as plastic quality, the audio that you get is second to none. This Tascam DR05X is worth every penny, but you should try it for yourself. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can pick up your own Tascam DR05X on Amazon, as well as the Purple Panda Omnidirectional Lavalier Bike. If you found any of this useful, please give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be putting out more content in the future. Well, I hope you have a good day and safe riding. Keep the rubber side down. Bye now.